James Kaufman, World News Report today, April 14th, 2025. God bless you and yours. No matter where you are in the world, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Two huge filament eruptions and coronal mass ejections inbound. We've had a rare double filament eruption on our sun. Explosions on our sun do not require sunspots. All my subscribers know that either solar flares or filament eruptions can cause coronal mass ejections. Spotless explosions occurred twice over the weekend when these two magnetic filaments lifted off our sun. And they are absolutely huge. Look at the size of these filaments. Magnetic filaments are tubes of dense plasma held above the sun's surface by magnetic forces. The two pictured above are about 400,000 kilometers long, longer than the distance between Earth and our moon. These massive structures can erupt when their magnetic underpinnings become unstable. This occurred twice in quick succession on April 12th and April 13th. This type of event is very rare. We refer to it as a double blast. My subscribers and viewers may recall that I called out this halo eruption, or these two halo eruptions, on our sun over the last two days during my solar weather reports. While I didn't see any sunspots that were earth-facing or could be the culprit, so I guess that they were backside explosions. But in fact, these were large film explosions that I did miss that were directly earth-facing. Fragments of the exploding filaments ripped through the sun's atmosphere to produce a pair of closely spaced coronal mass ejections now heading for Earth. A one-two punch from these coronal mass ejections could spark a G2 or G3 class geomagnetic storm on April 16th. Please visit NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center for updates on when these coronal mass ejections may impact. NOAA has put out a warning for April 16th for a watch for a geomagnetic storm, a G2. A pair of coronal mass ejections may arrive at Earth and lead to increased geomagnetic activity. A pair of coronal mass ejections that left the Sun on April 12th and 13th expected to reach Earth's outer atmosphere on 16th of April with effects extending into the 17th of April. G2 moderate geomagnetic storm watch has been issued for April 16th due to the arrival of these two CMEs that left the sun on the 13th, actually the 12th and 13th, with a slight chance of activity persisting into the 17th of April. God bless you and yours, folks. They're not looking for a ton of plasma. It looks like here only about 17 centimeters cubed. And they're looking for solar winds at around 600 kilometers per second. Please share our video. Please subscribe and always remember anything's possible. Bizarro world.